Final touch on this image um, would be to dim the stars. The way to do that in Photoshop is select them with a uh, color that with the um, color range tool. Just select highlights in the color range tool up here. Do that selection. Um, the marching ants that will appear at that point with uh, your selection. You then need to expand that selection so that it's a, a bit bigger than the individual stars by a couple of pixels using the expand selection. Two pixel setting means it's covering more than the star itself. The marching ants look a lot more visible now. I would then feather that selection so that when we dim the stars, it's going to be nicely blended. And typically you do that by half the um, expansion factor you use. In this case, it's one pixel. And then you use the minimum command. And that, that kind of dims the background stars way down. And in wide field imaging, I think this is really important because the stars can take away from the nebulosity. And dimming the stars is a final step I would encourage people to do. How much you dim it really is your own taste. You use the minimum tool to do that on the selection of the stars we just did. We had a radius of, I use a radius of one here, I click OK. And you'll see pretty much most of the stars disappeared. And that can be a bit much, taking that many away. But then you can fade that selection that you, or fade that, that, that tool effect you just did using the edit fade command. And that brings some of that star content back. You use a slider to say, how much of that minimum filter did I really want to apply? And then you get the balance that you want. It's entirely down to you. But now we've got a nice finished balanced image.